Welcome to Scriptures for Life with TorahFamily.org, taking time to focus on the Father's way. Proverbs chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. For the lips of an adulteress drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword. From the time in the garden with Eve and the serpent to modern day, Sin has and always will look good. That's what makes it so tempting. If it didn't look good, who would want it? If it didn't look like it would bring satisfaction or pleasure, why would anyone pursue it? And if it didn't bring satisfaction the first time someone fell to it, why would they be tempted by it again? So yes, sin does have pleasure, but it's temporary and only pleases our earthly nature the flesh. Romans 8, 5. Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what that nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. Sin can creep into your life. When it does, the next thing you know, you're making excuses in defending that sin and even trying to justify it. You may find yourself justifying it to yourself, just as much to others. Let this be a focus in your time of meditation throughout the day. Until next time, Shalom.